eastern side of the ball. Harry Leons has been the starter, but they've got somebody ready if he can't pull the trigger. Well, they really do, and it's going to depend, in my opinion, today, Todd, and whether they want to run the ball, which is their first thing to do, or throw the ball. And I think if they're running the ball, they'll go that way. However, if they want to, if they want to really put the ball in the air and play the kind of football that you might want to play when you're playing catch-up or big third down, they may ch uh, change quarterbacks. There's a look at Harry Leons. Guy who head coach Mike Kramer says is up and down. He can be real hot or he can be real cold. He's a squeaky type quarterback, and the Eagles, of course, hope that hot is the mode he's in today. Antoine Miller, the man in motion, as the Eagles try to open with a pass. Leon scrambling will get a little beyond the line of scrimmage, but not further before he's brought down by the Montana State defense. First down for the Eagles at their 25. Little tip, but still grabbed there. Looked as though somebody got a piece of that at the line. Steve Correa, the receiver, will be very close to first down yardage once again. Spotted at the 43-yard line as Leons brings the Eagles up once again. Two wide receiver set this time. Eagles will use a lot of three-man, bring the tight end out sometimes. Fake to Sewell, wide open once again is Steve Correa, and he'll pick up another first down for Eastern. That ball didn't look too bad, Don. No, he threw the ball very well, and, and of course they caught Montana State in a, in a man cover situation. Uh, and uh, uh, nice throw and a nice catch. Nice confidence builder for a quarterback, too. Just a quick drop, and you've got an open receiver to hit like that. You... Looking long this time, under some pressure and room for Leons to run. Drops the ball. Is it in or out? Which way? Let's see which way they're going to call the spot. Hey, he lost the loaf of bread and little conference. Did he step out of bounds first? The officials conferring over on the far side and we're waiting for a signal. Apparently stepping out of bounds. Let's take a look at it, Don, see if we can see whether he went out of bounds or the ball did. Trying to stretch it for a first down and I guess that, yeah, the ball carried out. Lucky break here for Leon's, huh? Certainly was. Big first down for Eastern. Well, they'll mark it third and short. Uh, very effectively when you look at what's happening up front. Very effectively. Leon's getting the play from Jeff Ogden. As Mike Kramer shuttles his wide receivers. Miller the motion man. Ogden at the top of the screen. And they're looking underneath now for Miller. Inside the 20 and another first down for Eastern. Ball loose and taken away by Montana State. They picked it off of him. Mike McKenzie and Rex Prescott in. They'll help block, and now they'll flip to McKenzie. And again, a confidence-building pass right there for Harry Leon. And the Eagles will send Korea to the bottom of the screen. Miller is in the slot. Third man, Gerald Jackson, up to the top of your screen. Leon squirting free. Put the ball away this time, Harry. They're screaming from the sideline. He'll be stopped just short of the first down, and Montana State was trying to signal they'd had the ball again. Leon's appears to be shaken up, though, right out at midfield. That was a nice scramble, though, Todd. Very, very nice scramble. Finds a hole right in the middle of the field. Cuts back to the sideline. He's got to put that ball away, though. He'll have trouble the fumble if he doesn't. We'll take one more look as Jared Lucero and Jeff Alexander made the stop for Montana State. Didn't see anything give particularly as he started to plant and cut. While they attend to Harry Leons, we'll take a timeout in Cheney. 2.03 to play in our first quarter. No score between Montana State and Eastern Washington on the Big Sky Game of the Week. And we welcome you back to Cheney as you see Eastern quarterback Harry Leons being helped to his feet. A little wobbly on the knee, but able to head off under his own power.